Hello and welcome to this section of the tutorial. We're going to briefly discuss hyperbolic functions um, that you'll be using occasionally. And uh, so I just want to briefly talk about that. So if you wanted to do the hyperbolic sine, it would be sine h, you would spell it out just like you would on a piece of paper if you were writing it down. And you just pass the argument to do the hyperbolic sine of a, of a number. The rest of them follow exactly the same. You have hyperbolic cosine, you have hyperbolic tangent, okay? And then even you have hyperbolic secant. Actually, let me do and do cotangent, hyperbolic cotangent, hyperbolic secant, and hyperbolic cosecant. So basically you have uh, the six main uh, hyperbolic functions available to you in MATLAB to use in any any way that you might need to and also their inverses are available as well so for the the uh, inverse hyperbolic sine it would be a sine h and you would just type in whatever it is you're, you're looking for 1.2 let's say and then it would return an answer and then the rest follows naturally the inverse hyperbolic sine would be a cosine h and you would get a number back. So the rest of the inverses work basically the same for tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. So you basically type them in just like you would be writing on a piece of paper. The um, hyperbolic functions are not things that you use very often, but uh, occasionally you'll have a need for them. So they're all built into to MATLAB, and uh, just make sure that you know how to get there. Uh, of course, you can also look in the help menu if you kind of forget some of these things, but more or less you type these hyperbolic functions in just as you would write them in a piece of paper or as you would see them in a textbook. 